Hi, Scott Lackman from 450 TV. A very special episode today, viewers. We wanted to bring you um, some healing um, strategies and some information uh, from our elder, uh, Steve Richards, Dreamtime Healing of Holographic Kinetics. Um, and our viewers may recognise Kalka Mitchell, uh, local um, physical trainer, healing. You've got a li big list, mate. We'll get to you in just a moment. But we did, our viewers would know, we caught up with Kalka uh, about 18 months ago and we talked about some some journeys that he was taking some of his clients on um, and trying to improve their health not only through physical training but also diet and, and mental exercises and um, throughout the Aboriginal community primarily and um, we know Calc has been doing some great job great work so we'll catch up with him in just a minute. Uh, back to our elder Steve Richards um, can you introduce yourself and to our viewers um, the, the theory and the concept behind holographic kinetics and dream time healing? As a young bloke, I was actually taught by my ancestors about the way of the past. And in growing up, I was aware that there was no teaching anywhere with this. And the things I was doing as a young lad, I got myself asking the questions, what am I doing, how am I doing it? So I spent 50 odd years of researching the science behind the old knowledge. And today we understand there's actually a science and that everything in nature is alive. Now our old culture was aware, the spirit of the trees, the rocks, the plants, everything in nature is alive. But the thing was how to communicate. Now through the dream time of the past, they would communicate to the animals, the trees. When they put out for spirit of the animal, it would donate itself and there's your lunch the next day. Holographic thinks the science behind that and how it works. And to understand that everything is set up in the invisible and we must first understand the invisible. And the easiest way to say that is, can you hear me a thought? You can't because it's invisible. But first the thought, then we bring it into visibility. Everything we've ever created was invisible first. Mm. So when you access the spirit of the being, it knows how, where, when and why anything was ever created. It can unfold time and space on that dimension. We can change that dimension where it's created back at this juncture, we can make changes in the present which then change the future on many levels. Mm. Um, Kalka, your introduction uh, for myself and I appreciate it introducing me to Elder Steve. Um, you've been practicing uh, the healing and um, through using holographic kinetics. Can you just elaborate a bit on that introduction about um, when we talk about the past, present, future, sometimes we get stuck in our past and that obviously then can cause ongoing trauma, um, health, mental health, etc. Um, where do you see this um, healing is, is beneficial for people? Well, as far as what I do here in the gym anyway, um, being overweight means that you're um, can mean that you're emotional eating. So by going back to find out what the cause of effect is of what age it was uh, created at, then we can clear that, create a whole new dimension so, so they're no longer stuck in time of action and reaction. Yeah. Um, Elder Steve, when, um, when you're meeting clients and, and trying to help people, um, I read a saying um, that you might be able to tell it better. It's um, about not getting stuck in our past or our, it doesn't always have to be about our past. Nothing has to be the way it was. We have the ability to change anything just by understanding where the dimension came from and by unfolding time and space upon that dimension changes the future. Mm. Um, I personally, uh, I've, I've um, had, a, had a, a session with Kalka um, personally off camera and um, what I found is... Um, even though I feel like I'm, um, I'm, I'm blessed, um, I, I have a good life um, in health and, and family, um, there was some trauma and there's some things that may have happened in my past that I was hanging on to and, um, and not realising how that kept on repeating itself um, and perhaps when something wasn't going quite right, um, I'd maybe fall back on um, was it caused because of something when I was younger um, and through a healing process I've since discovered that yeah there's some stuff that you've just got to let go and when you do let go of it um, you've got a whole new perspective a whole new outlook uh, for your future and, uh, and one thing in particular there was a there was a sense of gratitude and um, a very important teaching that I've done since uh, we've had our session Kalka each morning I wake up 
uh, one foot on the ground says thank, the other foot on the ground says you. And I wake up each day saying thank you. So from a level of gratitude, um, I'm thanking um, the spirit um, and, and moving forward on my day. Um, and, and I don't mind sharing that um, personally on camera that um, there is something about this kinetics and, and, and the healing that you're doing. It does work. Um, where do you see your clients? I know we're talking and in the past we're, we're primarily trying to uh, help the Aboriginal community, um, but through your clients, um, have you got a case study of, of someone that you've had sessions with and uh, from maybe one level to now a better level of life? I have thousands. Yes. Um, the, the key is that any emotional stuff that we're stuck in is the beginning has a cause. That cause, because of the cycles of similarity, repeat, 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 because that cell is alive. It's trying to survive. It needs you as a host, which you, well, are the host, you created it. Mm. So when you find where it's coming from and you change the dimension of time, look, I've been in high security prisons for people classified as mentally insane. Mm. And we've cleared those dimensions and no more voices in the head by finding the forces that were there, taking them out, and they've been released. I've been high security prisons for the most violent men in the system, turn them around. Mm. Every day we work on clients, and I would say at every, every week we would have attempts of self-harm with clients, mm. and we turn them around. Mm. It's understanding a whole new science, but our culture has known this for 60,000 years. Stolen generation took away the knowledge because this knowledge was passed from father to son, from father to son, down the time track. No longer is it there because stolen generation took away the knowledge. Mm. And therefore they got what I call deprogrammed, reprogrammed into a Western way of thinking. Mm. Um, off camera again, um, uh, Steve, you mentioned um, only a boy as young as four years old um, is where you um, learnt the old way um, of your culture. Can you take us a bit through your journey from a young age through maybe some transitions of, of different families and, um, and then where you are today? You talked off camera that it's really that, that spiritual and that, and that cultural foundation that, that now helps you with the healing? It's understanding that we're actually multidimensional beings in a multidimensional world. And it's understanding how to access those dimensions that our parents, our ancestors talked about constantly. Even you go back into the Royal Commissions, what's at stake? How important the spirit is in the life of Aboriginal culture? Well, why isn't it being healed? Because there's no psychiatrist that no, understands or knows how to heal the spirit of the trauma. We have trauma down that genetic line, which comes through, and when we clear that, we clear the stolen generation trauma of the ancestors that's still online today after hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. So there are thousands of cases that we have had that cover so many fields. Um, Kalka, can I turn to you? Um Again, for our viewers that follow you locally, um, you've been on some massive journeys over the last 12, 18 months and still some journeys ahead of you. Um, primarily, you're going into Aboriginal communities and trying to influence um, health, wellbeing and now the healing? Yeah, well, on the physical level, before I started with Steve, I was reversing chronic disease just by taking the body fat off people. Uh, but since using Steve's Dream Time Healing with Holographic Kinetics, um, the weight just falls off a lot more quicker, to be honest. Um, because sometimes it can go back, you know, into sexual abuse. Um, you know, project the thoughts of, you know, the little one being told they're fat. So what happens? And they stay fat. Yeah, so we clear it that way. So we went to Sherberg um, last year. So we we're fortunate to have NITV come out and do a, a story on us as well, where we took 180 kilograms of 12 Aboriginals, uh, reversed their antidepressant medications, and uh, including diabetes. Uh, and one lady was one Aboriginal woman was 21 years insulin dependent, and the doctors are absolutely amazed at, at what happened. Yeah, but they don't understand what happened or, or how it happened. Um, yeah, so now we're looking at other Aboriginal communities at the moment. Uh, in negotiations with um, Palm Island. We met uh, Mayor, Mayor Lacey uh, a couple of months ago, and so we're looking towards taking Dreamtime Healing up there and um, then doing the, the physical side of it as well, getting it back to our people of the old ways of what we used to know about. 
It's, um, it's an amazing journey. Obviously, um, the science behind it um, uh, over my head, um, but um, I truly believe um, the work that you're doing uh, through through the through the kinetics and your dream time healing. I truly believe there's another dimension there that um, potentially you're going to save lives. Yep. Look, we we work on children across the globe. We'll surrogate children to someone on the table from America or Europe with issues. We work on those issues. We put the spirit of the child, send it back into the body. And people say, how can you do that? Well, well the key is the spirit's linked to internal hyperspace. And it's omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient. It's every instantly at the same time. And when you bring it in, you can work on the child, send it back, and the child gets better in another country. Crazy. This is the old ways. The old ways. Kalka, um, would you like to add something to the interview for today? Um, based around your, your teachings and your learnings from, from Elder Steve? Um, well, it's universal knowledge is infinite and I'm never going to know everything, I can tell you that right now. And I'm forever learning off Steve. Um, so I, I feel very fortunate that I've crossed paths with Steve and um, in our culture nothing is ever a coincidence, everything happens for a reason. Uh, so if people would like to uh, come on board and experience dream time healing with holographic kinetics. And like Steve says, nothing ever has to be the way it was. You can unfold time and space, recreate a whole new dimension like it never happened. You'll be lighter, no longer stuck in time of action reaction or anything that affects you. Um, thank you, gentlemen. Um, Elder Steve Richards, dream time healing, holographic using kinetics, <laughs> using holographic kinetics, and um, Kalka Mitchell, um, um, and on location, I forgot to mention, um, on location of a brand new gym facility, uh, Plus Fitness 24-7 Gym, have moved location and down at the southern end of Morayfield Shopping Centre. Yeah, yeah, so right up the top where the Commonwealth Bank is, up in the car park there, it's a larger place now. Uh, we've got We've only been open for two days and there's 40 members already signed on. So, yeah, we've got the best trainers here. We don't bring any ego to the table. You just come and see us and we'll take the body fat off you in record time. And with Holographic Kinetics, uh, introducing that to your journey as well, uh, like I said before, and as Steve says, no longer stuck in time. But, uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. Gentlemen, thanks for your time, Kalka and Elder Steve. Really appreciate it. Um, as we do on 45 and OTV, there'll be some links after this video and we'll be, have some more information of where you can contact uh, these gentlemen and um, just explore it. There might be something there for you.